So in this problem, we'll be graphing a linear function and its inverse on the same axis. So let's do that. We're going to graph the linear function f of x is equal to 3x minus 2, and then graph its inverse on the same axis. Then we have to write the equation of the inverse function. So let's see, we have uh, f of x, 3x minus 2. So the y-intercept is negative 2, and the slope is 3, or 3 over 1. Okay, so the y-intercept is 0, negative 2, so there it is. This is negative 2. And then the slope is 3, or 3 over 1. So the rise is 3, the run is 1, so you go up 3. 1, 2, 3, over 1 here. Okay. Next point is, you also you go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. And then you can you can graph the function, graph the line by connecting the dots, and this is the graph of f, f of x right here. Now, how do we graph uh, the inverse function? Now, if you recall from class, the graph of an inverse function is always symmetric with respect to the line y equal x, y equal x is here. And if you recall from class also, the domain of f becomes the range of uh, f inverse, its inverse function. And the range of f becomes the domain of um, f inverse. So basically what happens here, you flip the x and y uh, flip. So here you have the point here is 0, negative 2, and that point is 1, 1. That point right here is, this is 2, 4. Now, the graph of uh, its inverse function is becomes what? You have 0, negative 2, it becomes negative 2, 0. So negative 2, 0 is here. So x would be negative 2, 0. That's the point, negative 2, 0. 1, 1, if you flip it, you're also going to get 1, 1 right here. So it's the same point. 2, 4, it becomes 4, 2. So 4, here's 4. 2, and here's 2. So that point right here is 4, 2. Now, connecting the dots... This gives me the graph of f inverse. Now, if you notice, as I said earlier, it's what is always symmetric with respect to the line y equal x. So it's f um, reflects over the line y equal x. You see here the line of symmetry. So this is y equal x right here. So this is the graph of f and its inverse function. Now let's go ahead and find the equation of the inverse function. Now if you recall from class, how do we uh, find the equation of its inverse function? We have f of x equal to 3x minus 2. Now we replace f of x with y, y equal 3x minus 2. Now we interchange x and y, so this becomes x, and this becomes y. Okay, now we're going to solve for y, so we, we need to isolate y, so we add 2 on both sides, and then we get x plus 2 equal to 3y. Now divide by 3. So we get, I'm going to go ahead and write y on the left side, we get x plus 2 over 3. So now this is the equation of the inverse function x plus
plus 2 over 3. So this is x plus 2 over 3. And this was 3x minus 2. And that's our problem.